after a Friday service we usually have a short reading of uh, something that has written the Ghulam Ahmed has written or said somewhere and uh, at this time I am uh, uh, going through a speech that he made about uh, attributes of Allah as described in uh, Surah Fatiha. And uh, in this extract, Hirasab speaks about God's attributes of Rahman and Rahim. After that, this is after the discussion that we had last week. After that, Allah's attribute, Ar-Rahman, is given. This attribute requires that He should grant for humans' natural needs without any supplication or begging or without any action by the human for it. For example, when a man is born, the things needed for his existence are already present. He is born later, but milk is formed in the mother's breast before his birth. The heavens, the earth, the sun, the moon, and the, the, the sun, the moon, and the stars, water and air, etc. All these things which he created for man are because of his Rahmaniya. However, other religions do not accept this, that he can that he can bless us without recompense. Arya, as a matter of principle, do not accept it. As when explaining the meaning of Rabbul Alameen, I said that Christians too, to support atonement, have created this belief that he, meaning God, cannot have mercy on human beings without it being a recompense for some good deed that the humans have done. We should ask the Aryas for the past, for the past good deeds whose recompense means that this earth, the heavens, the moon and the stars and the sun and air and water are present for us. After that, Allah's attribute of being Rahim is given. This is the attribute of Allah which requires that hard work and effort are not wasted. <coughs> On the contrary, He Gives, gives us fruits and shows us results of this hard work and effort. If a person does not believe that his hard work and effort shall bear fruit, he will become lazy and useless. This attribute widens man's hope and takes him, and takes him to the doing of good with a fervor. It must be remembered that in the terminology of the Holy Quran, Allah is described as Rahim when He accepts people's prayers, their supplications and good deeds and keeps them safe from evil, from calamity and bad deeds. Rahmaniyat is general, is for everyone. But Rahimiyat is related to the human beings only. Because the rest of the creation has not been granted the capacity to pray, to supplicate and to do good deeds. This has been granted only to humans. This is then the difference between Rahmaniyat and Rahimiyat. <coughs> Rahmaniyat does not need supplication. But, Rahim, but Rahimiyat needs supplication. This is like a cloak of special honor for human beings. And if humanity 
being human does not take benefit from it, then humans are not just equal to animals but are like fossils. This attribute alone was sufficient to refute all incorrect beliefs uh, to which some religions incline and believe that there is no progress that a man can make through his own efforts. Aryas deny the, the rewards of this attribute, then how can they believe that Allah has all the perfect attributes? The late Sayyid Ahmad Khan has also denied the efficacy of prayer and in this way also denied the reward a man is given through prayer. This was from Malfuzat, uh, Volume 2, pages 51 and 52. This is all for today.